This one thing absolutely changed my perspective on the music business. So whenever I was starting out, one of the big misconceptions that I feel like a lot of bands have is that the only way to promote your band is through things like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. While those are absolutely effective mediums that you need to take advantage of, they're not the only thing you need to consider and they're not even the most profitable places that you could be getting attention. So here's what I want you to think about for a moment. I want to tell you a story. So at one point we were trying to promote these shirts and it didn't sell very well. So we were putting ads out there trying to, hey, go check out these shirts. And no one was really purchasing the shirts. I get, we were like, does no one like this? What's going on? And then we remembered, well, hey, we got the email list. Let's send the email list a little message like, hey, we got new shirts out and uh, yeah, go check them out. We immediately got a sale from hitting up the email list. Now keep in mind, the email list was free. We didn't have to pay Mark Zuckerberg or Google to have to reach our email list and it immediately resulted in a sale. We could have saved that ad money and just put one email to our email list and that would have literally saved us the money we spent on our advertisements and actually made it a very profitable venture. But that was that one moment that happened a few years ago where I was like, wait a second, I could pay $20, $30 for an ad to get my you know stuff out to a bunch of people who maybe don't care about it or I could spend the time to build up an email list, shoot them a free email, and I could potentially get a whole bunch of sales just like that. So that was a quick little video I wanted to give you guys to give you just sort of a little quick tip as to how to sort of shift your perspective as to what's possible and what's profitable in this business.